Welcome to aplusguru.com's solution videos, which was prepared for one of our students who had the following question regarding complex numbers. Rewrite the following in standard form. Now, before we go ahead and find the solution for this term and to convert it into standard form, let's try to understand what the standard form of a complex number means. It basically is represented by a plus bi, where a represents the real number such as 1, 25, 37 plus bi where b is basically the coefficient of i and is also a real number and i is the imaginary number. Now there's a rule for an imaginary number where i squared is equal to negative 1. So if you go back to our question and the term 5 over i needs to be changed into a standard form. What do we do with this? We have to basically multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator which is i right now. What does a conjugate mean? A conjugate means where we change the sign in the middle of two terms. For example, we have two terms here which is 3 plus 2i. Notice that it's in the standard form. So the conjugate of 3 plus 2i will basically change into 3 minus 2i which you see in blue the plus changes into minus. Now if we go back to our question, the denominator only has one term you might have a question saying how do we convert that into two terms? Well, we could we could basically consider a to be 0 plus, because since it's positive i, 1i. If you notice, 0 plus 1i is basically 1i and 1 times i is basically i. So we're actually not breaking any rules. This basically equals to i. Now we have two terms and we simply change it into its conjugate and that will become 0 minus 1i which in turn equals to negative 1i which basically equals to negative i. So the conjugate of i is actually negative i. So let's go back to our question and we would like to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of i which we just found out was negative i. Okay, so let's do that. So we multiply the top by negative i and the bottom by negative i and this would actually give us negative 5i in the numerator and negative i square in the denominator. Okay, so if we take a closer look, we can simplify this term now because as you can see the rule of imaginary, i squared is equal to negative 1. So we could basically substitute i squared with negative 1 in the denominator. So the numerator is going to stay the same and the denominator is going to change into negative negative 1. Okay, so you notice that i squared changed into negative 1 because there's still a negative outside so it becomes negative of negative 1 which would equal to negative 5i in the numerator and positive 1 in the denominator because negative times a negative is positive which would equal to negative 5i because negative 5i over 1 would equal negative 5i. Any number that is divided by 1 would equal to the number that it was that was in the numerator. Okay, so we have solved this term today with a complex number and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching aplusguru.com's solution video. Please visit us at www.aplusguru.com and take advantage of our free 15-minute trial which is offered to all new users who sign up 
for a limited time. Also, depending on your questions, A Plus Guru may create a video for your session and post for others to see. So go ahead and take advantage of this today.